Well, does your Minecraft look like this? If yes, this is the right video for you because I'll show you how to make the game look from this to this. So let's get straight into the video. First of all, we are gonna need a good optimization mode. For us, it's the sodium because it's the greatest optimization mode for the low end PC. So go to the video description, please, and uh, click on the download link. It'll take you to this website where you can download sodium mode. Just scroll down and get to the download section and please click on click here next to the sodium once you get through the redirection website go to the versions game versions 1.21.4 find fabric and hit download then click on the second download link and this is for the fabric because we'll need fabric and fabric ap as well so scroll down to the download section as well and make sure you click on click here next to the fabric and fabric ap the first link will take you to the official fabric website so now go to the download and select download for windows and the second link will take you to the modern website as well once you get through the redirection website again and go to the game versions 1.21.4 choose the fabric version again and hit download again what we need to do now is to install the studio mode so it's pretty basic just follow me first of all go to the windows search bar type in percent app data percent and hit enter this will open up the roaming folder for us and in here go to the dot minecraft go to mods let me just take all these mods and put it into the old folder and now take the fabric ap drop it into the mods folder and do the same with the sodium mod now go back scroll down to versions double click on it and double click on fabric installer choose the 1.21.4 version and hit install as you can see the fabric loader has been successfully installed so you can hit ok and let's make sure that you can see the fabric loader 1.21.4 what we need to do now is to open up the minecraft launcher or t launcher sorry so let's open up the t launcher and pl hit play when you turn on the T launcher, make sure that you select the Fabric Loader 1.21.4 version and let's wait until we get to the menu. Go to the single player and choose your world and uh, let's wait until we get in there. So here we are in our single player world. Now hit escape, go to the options, video settings. And uh, once we are in here, we will be in the general settings. So first of all, let's get to the render distance. So if you've got like the really low end PC, let's use six chunks. And uh, when it comes to the simulation distance, let's use five chunks. Let me show you how it looks like now. So this is how it looks like. It, it's not the worst and it's also not the best. However, if you just use the lowest one to uh, look how it looks like, it, it's ugly. So we don't want it. So let's use six and five. I believe everyone can have these chunks. And when it comes to brightness, let's use 100% as uh, I found it the best settings. Uh, let me just yeah do this. And now uh, when it comes to full screen, yes, I don't use it right now, but you should definitely use it as it uh, can boost your FPS just a bit. Now, when it comes to VSync, uh, you should turn it on since I don't think you will get uh, more than 200 FPS or, or so and we don't really need it as well. We think it's great, so please use it. And uh, max frame rate, use unlimited. And when it comes to bobbing, if we turn it off, look at the sword and the movement. Yeah, it, it's look, it looks ugly and uh, it doesn't look like um, you're a human. So when you turn it on, Look at uh, this fort now. Yeah, it shakes. It shakes. So uh, we want it. So let, let's uh, leave it on. And we don't have to do anything with these two. So now go to the quality. And what we need to do now is to change the graphics to fast. And uh, also do this uh, with the clouds. You can turn it off if you don't like these clouds. Just simply turn it off. And it will look like this. Uh, I leave that up to you. But if you want some clouds, you can leave the fast option. Now when it comes to weather, we need to use fast as well, because as you can see, the performance impact is medium. Now with leaves, let's do that as well. 
And when it comes to particles, we can actually use decreased and not minimal. So let's use decreased and uh, leave the smooth lighting on. Biome blend, let's use one block, which is the best one for me. But if you got like a better low end PC, you can use two blocks. It's up to you. You can play with this and see what's the best for you. Now let's turn off the entity shadows because we don't really need it. And as you can see, the performance impact is medium. And uh, let's turn off the vignette effect as well. And mid map levels, as you can see, the performance impact is medium. So let's use one, not zero, but one, please. So hit apply and now go to the performance. And what we need to do is to use the chunk update threads to free, free threads if you have it. And let's turn off, uh, I guess, not I guess, but I know these, these three settings, okay? So turn off these three settings and now go to advanced and CPU render ahead limit should be on two frames and also turn off the use persistent mapping. And this is it guys, this is the best uh, settings for the low end PCs in Minecraft T launcher. And I hope I have helped you, as you can see, I've got wait over 1000 fps which is very good and uh, let me know how many fps do you guys have just comment it down below thank you so much and see you in the next one